Hello, good morning everybody. Today is a good day to have a good day. So we're gonna be making some wellness shots. I'm super excited. I've never made them before. I also wanted to share some workout mindset tricks with you guys that will help you have a killer workout. So overall, we're just gonna try our best to have a healthy and productive day on this really rainy and gloomy week. Like it's literally raining all week. So hopefully, you know, April showers bring May flowers as they say so let's hope that is true because i'm ready for some good weather and also my friend is coming over tonight for a girls self-care night so that'll be really fun but yeah i really hope you guys enjoy the video and please always remember that each day is a new day to make better choices than the day before so we just gotta keep moving forward urge to make some homemade wellness shots well i saw a girl on tiktok making them and that made me want to make my own but they're basically just a healthy immune boosting juice and i feel like they're pretty expensive at the store just for like one of them even though they're really easy to make so i thought we would just do it ourselves and make a whole batch of them <music> actually a little trickier than I thought. I had to make a makeshift funnel to get the juice into these aesthetic bottles that I got off of Amazon. Yes, I did specifically buy them just to make these look a little more aesthetic, but it makes me happy. They look so cute. Do you want to take one with me? Yeah. Okay, you can just grab one. They're going to be pretty potent, so get ready. I'm probably not going to take this all in one shot because I'm really bad at taking shots. Yeah. Doesn't it smell like ginger? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Cheers. I did it. That was pretty good. <laughs> Wait, that was pretty good. That wasn't that bad. It, I thought it was going to be way more gingery, but it was actually like sweeter than I thought, so. That was yummy. Yeah. I'm about to head out right now. I have a dentist appointment at two o'clock, which I'm not thrilled about. I really don't like going to the dentist, but I need to go. Let's cross our fingers that I do not have any cavities because that would really put a damper on my day. done with my dentist appointment and you guys don't even know how happy I am right now I have no cavities sorry I didn't realize how loud my fan was but yeah I basically have like really groovy teeth so I'm just like really prone to cavities and having teeth problems is like one of the most annoying things ever so if you deal with that then I feel your pain it is so frustrating but yeah that's kind of why I'm feeling on top of the world right now my friend is about to come over in a little bit so I gotta drive home right now and then clean up my apartment a little bit so yeah I will see you guys once I get back. Just made my go-to 
two quick lunch, which is just tuna salad on rice cakes. I always top it with Parmesan cheese. It just makes it so much yummier. And there's also some avocado mixed in there as well. This is one of those days where you don't have your first meal of the day until 4 p.m. So yeah, I'm very hungry. I don't know how I've lasted this long. I mean, I had a few strawberries earlier and that wellness shot, but that was like literally it. And I could feel my stomach about to growl while I was getting my teeth clean. So I like tried to hold it to like, so it wasn't so loud. My dentist is like 35 minutes away. So I just like drove so much. I'm just like exhausted now. I'm probably gonna make like a little tea after this and then I gotta clean up and redo my makeup because i did it really bad this morning but i knew i was gonna redo it because i wanted it to be nice for tonight so yeah i'm just like really ready to relax and have like a little wine night we're gonna go hot tub it's gonna be a very nice night yet but we're drinking some wine i have red wine she's got white wine and we're gonna go hot tub so cheers, cheers. middle of a workout you're starting to get to your last few reps and it's starting to really burn so you kind of start to give up even though you know you could have done a few more if you just push through lately I've been doing two simple things during my workouts to get past these mental barriers and train harder so that's what I wanted to share with you guys right now so the first thing I've been doing when my workout starts to get really hard is I will start repeating I will never quit in my head just like over and over and I swear I end up being able to do several more reps than I thought I could. It's just a really good distraction from how hard your workout is so you're not like focusing on the pain of the workout. And the second thing I like to do which is very similar is to actually run through in my head things that I'm grateful for. Like I'll just start thinking of like every single thing I can think of that I'm grateful for. It's just another great way to distract yourself from the pain of the workout. It's so simple but so effective. And those extra reps really do add up. They help you tear your muscles so you can get stronger and really push yourself please try these out the next time you work out you will be amazed at how effective they really are it's just crazy how powerful your mind is so it's just really important to try to fill it with positive thoughts rather than negative ones when you focus on all the negative things like all oh, this workout is so hard my muscles are burning then you're just sending signals to your body that you're like in distress so then your body just kind of starts to shut down because you're basically telling it to but yeah I just really wanted to share these little mindset tricks with you guys I I swear I've been using them every single time I've been working out lately and I've just been able to train so much harder. So I know they will help you guys too, so definitely try them out. Mm -hmm. 